You're my music, but you tear me to pieces. So where does it come from? What's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. We are here at Port Aventura Attraction Park. It's like a Six Flag type of park. They have different worlds. And uh, yeah, we're gonna enjoy the day. We're heading off to the far west. Far west, right? Yeah, far west. Far west. Uh, who's, how do you say that? Section. Far west section. And uh, they have a couple of uh, cool rides, man. We just saw them cool rides over there. And also, I love like uh, water type rides, okay? I don't like big and heavy and fast <laughs> roller coasters. I don't like it because I get dizzy, okay? I get dizzy very quickly. And, uh, I don't like them when they, they have a lot of turns. So we're gonna go to the, the easy ones first and see how I feel. And uh, you know, to get used to it, you have to warm up first, guys. So <laughs> we're gonna warm up first over there at the far west. And uh, then, uh, yeah, uh, head our way into the park and deeper. All right, so uh, yeah, let's get the day started. Scene that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb. Right done guys and we just went into those those things I don't know what it's called but we had luck because the park just opened so no lines that's a dream right <laughs> no lines absolutely no lines we have to wait we had we had to wait less than five minutes to get in those things so first right done on to the next one oh where does it come from so guys, here you guys can see how the park looks like. So you have over here Mexico, you have Far West, which is where we are, you have China, and you have a bunch more, okay? <laughs> In total, there are six, I think. We just went over here to the Grand Canyon Rapids, and we're currently waiting for this one. The Silver River. Thing. Yeah, but they all say they open at 10 o'clock. No, no. 10.30. 10.30. So we're here at 10 o'clock right now, and uh, they all open at 10.30 or 11 o'clock, and even some open at 1 o'clock. So uh, we'll have to wait for a little bit longer. Yeah! Oh, where does it come from? All your emotions with your heart on your sleeve, they won't fade until you paint it black. Yo! Guys, I don't know if you guys can see it, but we are very wet right now. <laughs> that was so much freaking fun. We had a blast in that ride, guys. That's why I love them, because you get wet. <laughs> So guys, making our way to Mexico right now. We're done here at the far west. We went on that last uh, roller coaster. It was pretty fun. It went very, very hard. And we won. Yeah, we won because you had to, to pick teams. So you had the blue one and you had the red one and we picked the red one and of course we won. I mean, we're athletes. That's what we do. <laughs> and uh, we got ourselves a coffee right here, a cappuccino, and it says Cafe Zero, all right? And just because it says zero doesn't necessarily mean it's zero calories, all right? So keep that in mind, guys, when you buy things. Because this zero meant like it's frozen, zero degrees. Yeah, as in zero degrees. So it's frozen coffee. That's why it's zero. But it contains about almost 200 calories, all right? So quick tip of the day. Oh, yeah. With your heart on your sleeve, it won't fade until you paint it black. Guys, are you watching that thing over there? Okay, you see that. Uh, okay. Somebody wants me to die. Huh? I cannot go in rides like that. It's crazy, a bunch of up and down turns. It's, I'm, come on, nah. Can't do it. I can't do it, no. Oh, where does it
fight we're in. We did it! I did it, guys. I went in there. Shambhala. Shambhala, the white one. That was wow. That is just the biggest roller coaster I've ever been on, guys. Definitely by far the drop was insane just that first freaking drop was pretty intense i i felt like i was just flying flying because it's, it's like open on the sides it, it, it was awesome though i have to admit admit i mean it was scary and i was so tense <laughs> I, I probably put the picture right now because we bought video as and proof. and a picture you know as proof that uh, I did it, okay? And that's what it's all about. Conquering your fear, all right? Yeah, that's the attitude, okay? Never say never. <laughs> now I'm about to go and have a meal, some Chinese food, I think, because we're in China right now. And uh, yeah, keep enjoying the day. Pretty, pretty damn cool. <laughs> we were soaked, literally. Okay, soaked. I had to take off my shirt and she took hers also. And we were soaked. My board short is soaked. Everything, guys. <laughs> Freaking awesome, though. Yo, guys, so back in the Netherlands, back home, back to this beautiful sunny weather we have over here. If you know what I mean. But I just came back from the gym, had a sick lat workout, I'm very tired but I want to take you guys through the last day of our vacation to Reus. So we actually finished pretty early at the park because I mean there were no lines guys, the park wasn't busy at all, I mean there were a lot of people but the lines were about 30 minutes long so that's not long at all for you know an attraction park and uh, as big as this one. So we ended up finishing around 5.30, 6 o'clock in the afternoon and we decided to go ahead and visit Cambriles and Cambriles was a very beautiful place guys I mean it was very peaceful compared to Salo because Salo is like very very touristic so you have a lot of souvenir shops and gift shops and restaurants and such but uh, Cambriles was very peaceful you know the beaches were very quiet and uh, there was also a lot of nature so you had uh, parks where you could just uh, lay down and enjoy just the weather you know a lot of people like uh, running exercising actually so uh, running biking uh, skateboarding rollerblading so so you know a lot of people doing exercise and it was really like really recreational and, and really peaceful and, and just a, a very cool place chill place so after that we went back uh, to Reus and we finished up the night with some burgers at a local burger place which was a uh, pretty nice pretty nice here so a uh, very chill night and uh, very delicious uh, food so the next day we were leaving at 4 o'clock and we decided to go to the Gaudi Museum which was just around the corner from uh, our Airbnb and it was actually pretty damn cool you know to learn something about you know the culture because if you don't know who Gaudi is Gaudi is the architect who actually designed La Sagrada Familia which is the big uh, church in Barcelona that still isn't finished yet so so it was pretty cool to learn something you know about that and Gaudi actually was born in Reus although most of his work is in Barcelona he was actually born you know in Reus and uh, we decided you know to take a look at the museum and all of the history and, and all of the buildings and such that he created were were showing the museum so it was pretty cool and he actually died in a pretty sad way because he was hit by a tram so that was pretty <laughs> like uh, you know a sad way to go I think so uh, yeah that was that and after the museum we went back to the Airbnb packed our stuff and got ourselves to the airport and uh, that was that man now we're back home training making gains and to be honest it was pretty hard to get back in the routine I mean I wasn't feeling uh, training whatsoever I, although I missed the gym but it was hard you know getting back into the routine of training every single day so I mean uh, I dragged myself to the gym but I got it done and right now I'm back on track I'm back on track training every single day and that is what we do over here so I hope you guys enjoyed these 
uh, three videos of uh, my vacation and it was a very spontaneous trip and I enjoyed you know uh, making these memories and documenting these memories and what better way to document everything and to, to make new memories than with your best friend right <laughs> but uh, I mean it was a great time we had such an amazing time and uh, I'm happy that I was able to document this not only you know for you guys to see but uh, I mean it is for for me basically you know I, I like documenting this stuff because this channel is not only about teaching fitness and showing you guys how I live this fitness lifestyle but it's also for me you know to document everything and to really uh, document my memory so with that being said guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then don't forget to leave a like on this video and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below, alright? So, I guess I'll see you soon. Later, guys.